Hey guys, we've got some huge announcements in this video for Ghosts of Ruin, like the fact that we have an Oscar-nominated director on our team now. Today I'm going to share with you how you can see yourself animated on screen and get to vote in what happens in Web3's most insane anime. So if you don't know, I'm PJ Achituro, CEO of Battle Island Entertainments. We're bringing award-winning creatives from Web2 to create upcoming episodes, music, and games to Ghost of Ruin, Web3's most exciting cinematic universe. This is gonna be a huge year for Web3, and we're so excited that we get to release the show here at Gala. This will be the first of an ongoing monthly series where I provide updates on Ghost of Ruin. And if I don't get to your question, post it in our Discord, and I'll try and cover it in more detail in our next video update. So if you don't know what the show is specifically about, here's a few snippets from our previous AMA with Bucks from Gala Film and Mike Ryan, a two-time Emmy award-winning writer who's written hit shows for all the major studios in Hollywood, including Marvel. What's the what's the deal yeah. here? To totally. I mean, Ghost of Ruin is an anime about the future of gaming. There's a breakthrough in neural reality, which is kind of like virtual reality in the next level, where you're able to feel everything in the game as if it's real life. And season one is centered around a battle royale world tournament of the top 100 players. And our main character, Lee, he's like a total underdog. He's chosen to compete in the tournament. So as we enter in the tournament, one of the monsters that's hunting the players begins to become increasingly sentient and systematically hunts the players. And we turn out to find out the stakes are way bigger and much deadlier than we originally imagined. We're slated right now for summer of 2023 to come out with a four episode mini season. Okay, that was a leak, everybody, just in case you <laughs> clock it. Thank you, PJ, you are learning. So with this project, we're gonna break a lot of Hollywood rules. It's always been one of the most frustrating things I've felt is that you don't know anything about a movie or film project until it's released. And also you have no say in actually the outcome of what's happening. So we wanted to turn that on its head and let these ID badges feel like you're a part of the team. So if you hold any of our badges or you're in the Gala Secret Cinema Club, you'll get access to exclusive content like masterclass sessions with our writers, animators, casting director, composer, basically anyone and everyone on our team. It's inside access to Oscar and Emmy winning creatives who want to break down the traditional barriers of Hollywood and show you how it's done. More info about that coming soon, but make sure you have an ID badge or you're in the Secret Cinema Club just so you can get exclusive access to those updates because we'd love to get to know you more and even hear some of your ideas or pitches for where we can go with the series. Traditionally in Hollywood, the showrunner, in our case Mike, is given multiple options from our director and animators on what choices to make in any given scene and scenario. This can range from aesthetics to casting, line delivery, how a character dies, there's a million things that go on but we wanted your input on some of those options as well. So you guys will get to vote on elements of each episode. Now, trust me, you don't want the job of having dozens of things to choose every single day for months on end. We're aiming to strike a balance to where you can vote on some really awesome things that you'll be able to see later on screen, how your choices influence the show that we created together. There will be a lot more details to come as we dig into production, and I will iron things out on this kind of brave new world of a, you know, co-creating process together. But the general consensus is that the higher tier of your ID badge, the more things you'll be able to vote on and the greater the ratio that your vote will give you on the outcome. So if you have any questions about the frames and earning, we haven't yet been filled in on the exact details of that. So just shoot Gala's team members on Discord any of your questions about that, and I'm sure they'll get back to you. Our approach to casting is that the show revolves around really eight core characters, and they're all heading into the world's largest battle royale tournament. So for those eight characters, we are working with an extremely accomplished set of actors that have had roles in Halo, Legends of Vox Machina, Attack on Titan, Call of Duty, Guardians of the Galaxy, and a whole lot more. But because some of the characters in the show, in fact, probably most of the characters in the show are content creators, it makes sense to cast many of those roles with current day YouTubers in the anime and gaming space and the voiceover space. And this is awesome because on our road to a million subscribers a couple years ago, Ryan and I met a lot of YouTubers who would be so excited to appear in a project like this. And this is the heart of our strategy of getting our show out to about 34 million viewers by the end of episode four 
and then with season one part B. We're in the process of writing roles specifically for the biggest YouTubers on the planet so we can hit about 240 million viewers by the end of season one part B. So finally, we're saving a few roles for you guys. As you saw with the Razor auditions, there is a ton of talented filmmakers in the Yala film community, and we would love to see you in the show. In addition to principal actor roles, there's also opportunities for executives and board members to have one-liners, crowd sounds, monster sounds, and various other sound effects. So if you hold one of those ID badges, we will actively try and get you into the show at some level. So make sure you consider getting one before they're all burned next week. A death drop is something where you are animated into the series and then you die an insane and horrible death on screen. This is the craziest reward that I am most excited about. We will randomly give a couple to coders and developers and more to executives and board members. Also, in this dystopian San Francisco future, there's going to be a lot of graffiti in the city. So we wanted to include your graffiti in the episode. Similar to Death Drops, we'll randomly be choosing a few coder and developers and a lot more from the executive and board members. So the higher tier ID badge you have, the higher chance you have of making it. And if you're anything like me and you don't know how to draw graffiti, don't worry. There's lots of resources that make it free and easy online, and I'll include some tutorials on it and when we release more information about this later. And we're also figuring out how to have the mechanics hidden of a scavenger hunt in the graffiti, and whoever finds the secret message that we hide in the show, they get a death drop or something like that. So our team of directors, writers, and producers, as I've said before, they have multiple Emmy wins and an Oscar nomination. And so as we finalize those deals, we're gonna be sharing a lot more details on who they are, because those are the people you have an opportunity to talk to on the Masterclass. Similar to Arcane, we will be releasing a soundtrack with some insanely talented artists and one original score album. We're hoping to release these two albums on Gala Music's platform this summer, and we will keep you posted soon on the details of that. Also, if you're a musician, we'd love to hear from you. We're playing with a way that we can accept song submissions from our community and incorporate those potentially into future episodes and or the soundtrack slash album. So with this series, we really wanted to do something different than the traditional way where films are made. As you've heard in the previous AMA I did with Bucks, we will begin to release four episodes this summer to start to introduce you to the world. But here's where we're really trying to do something different here at Gala Film. After these four episodes are released, you get to vote on some major decisions for season one, part two, which is the next cluster of episodes. Because that's what Web3 and Gala Film is all about being actively involved in a project and having a stake in the outcome. So that's it for today's update. Make sure you get an executive or board member ID before they're gone next week. Those IDs have a lot of power in what we're doing with the series. We don't want you to miss out. So thank you all so much, and we're excited to talk to you guys in Discord. I'll see you there.